This podcast is proud to be part of the TalkSport Fan Network. TalkSport. Powered by fans. Hey, I'm Ryan Reynolds. At Mint Mobile, we like to do the opposite of what Big Wireless does. They charge you a lot, we charge you a little. So naturally, when they announced they'd be raising their prices due to inflation, we decided to deflate our prices due to not hating you. That's right. We're cutting the price of Mint Unlimited from $30 a month to just $15 a month. Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 up front for three months plus taxes and fees. Promo rate for new customers for limited time. Unlimited more than 40 gigabytes per month slows. Full terms at mintmobile.com. The TalkSport Fan Network is proudly supported by McDelivery, bringing you the food you love. Muck Delivery brings a top-tier lineup of food right to your door. No matter the results, you'll always be winning with Muck Delivery. Order now on the McDonald's app and you'll get rewards points delivered too. So that ordering today means some tasty rewards for tomorrow. Only via app at participating restaurants. 18 plus rewards registration required. Points only on menu items, delivery fee and terms apply. See mcdonalds.com. Welcome to Monday night's Talk and Talk show. It is what Mondays are for, and uh, tonight we start the show off with the saddest news ever of little Tommy Plant, who, bless him, has lost his battle. Um, we've all got kids, but you know what? These are the hardest pills to swallow in life. They really are. The little man, bless him, and his mum and dad and his relatives. 
and all his friends, school teachers and everybody that knew him, you know, our hearts absolutely sink for you all tonight. They, they really do. They really do. A blue nose. And once again, amazing work by Linda and the team. <clears throat> Already well over £5,000 raised for that little lad's funeral. Eek, I'm heartbroken, sorry. Ugh. Football's nothing, is it really? Sometimes it just pales into the background. On with the show. Live tonight with us, Mrs Brown. Good evening. <laughs> uh, Mr Mark Adams, a.k.a. Mr Robe. Hello, everybody. Mr Paul Hipkiss, a.k.a. Mr Sheen. Good evening, My all. Good self. And from a car somewhere in Portugal, <laughs> the one and only Marcello. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Mister. It's got a bit okay, darker since you were on earlier. Yes, it's, it's dark already yeah, here in Portugal. Uh, we we always start the show. If there's any ever any sad news, we always we always do those at, at the beginning of the show. And tonight we will be dedicating this whole show with you, Marcello, to Tommy Plant and his family. Um. And it's it's always horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible to do. It's horrible to even try and get your words out, you know, because you just can't imagine the pain, can you? It's just heartbreaking. Yeah. So sad. So sad. Right. Okay, Marcello. So from inside your car, um, let's hope it's at least warm in Portugal at the moment for you. Yeah, it's not. It's not bad. Twenty two, uh, twenty three degrees. Oh. It's not twenty three degrees. Right away. Right away. seven <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paul, we'll start off with um, Sunday's game. It's, um, lovely to see the Blues out there in a green strip. Now we've learned since that green strip is a, is a is a kind of a thank you to the NHS workers and the key workers all through the COVID uh, situation that we're still going through. So you know, well done to the club for doing that. Yeah, yeah, no, no thought behind that. To be fair, um, so yeah, yeah, no, no, good, good, good thinking, definitely, and a good tribute to the to the key workers that actually got one sent to them as well. Um, so yeah, no, no, nice, nice ideas, definitely. Um, as for the as for the game itself, um, again, like you know, we, we we look very hard to score against. Um, Super goal from Harley Dean. That ball came whipping what a across, header. right in the back of the net, and then we right. go and get a deflection for their draw. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, but but look at the progress, Nick. What was it three months oh, ago? We were getting turned what? over three yeah. nil there. Yeah. Um. So we've 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 made huge progress. We're now disappointed about drawing one one and conceding an eighty fourth minute equaliser. So that is progress. And we're still undefeated space. in the league. Yeah, yeah. In a short space of time. I, 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 <laughs> my only not I'm not negative, but I'd like to think you know we're going to be more threatening in open play and look like we're going to score more goals eventually. Um. Now what that what it what it's going to take to do that I, I don't know but hopefully it does happen because if it does the Premier League window shut tonight does it the Premier yeah. League window tonight doesn't and, it the international and, 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 and the championship and the championship yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay yeah. so uh, if anybody does get any news of anybody sitting in a car outside of uh, the training ground with their arm out you know <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah but no if we can, if we can address that issue and, and be more of a threat attacking wise and 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 you know look like we're going to score more goals. Then we could have, we could be in for a real treat of a season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got when I think we've got Leko to come back in to come in, who's got pace as well. Yeah. Um, that excites me. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mark uh, Dave Twine, beg your pardon, has just put a, a, a photograph up of the, uh, the the colours on the side of the ambulance, which resemble the same colours on the strip. So well done to you. Nice. Yeah. And uh, just be grateful for all our all our NHS staff and key workers as we go through now what is looking like I don't know another six months of. Yeah. Absolute misery, to be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all Stephen right. Okay. Gills, Steve, Stephen Steve. Gills just saying that the championship yeah, is next one. Friday. Okay. Next Friday, championship is next, next Friday. Friday. I didn't think they were on the same one. I know the international one finishes tonight. Anyway, Marcello, what are you up to nowadays? Yeah, uh, I'm living here in Portugal, no? so uh, I work as an agent. Uh, I represent some uh, football players. Some uh, some good players uh, have players in Porto. Uh, you got any good players. strikers? Uh, I have a good striker, but he's 37 years old and he's playing in China now. He's a Brazilian guy, <laughs> but a little bit too old. But is that, is that Ronaldo? Old. Is that Ronaldo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he's a Brazilian. He's a Brazilian guy, 
Um, but, but he's doing very well, still doing very well. He's playing for in the Super League in, in China uh, and still uh, scoring goals. Yeah. But I have just uh, no nowadays. Uh, I have two very good players in, in Porto, 20 years old. They they won the 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 Dragon Dragon Mina uh, Prize in, in Porto for uh, for a younger player and uh, and a more heavy, relevant player for the last season. So both uh, good prospects for uh, for Porto and for the Portugal national team. Hmm. Yeah, Adam Wilkes wants to know if you're waiting. If you're waiting for a fare, you look like a cabbie. <laughs> <You're not laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. But um, as you know, no, today, today here in Portugal is, is holiday. But uh, and because of that, the transfer window doesn't close today. You close tomorrow. Uh, ah. so I, I'm in the car now. Uh, I was. Uh, I mean, I mean, still in Lisbon uh, because of the the, the transfers and. Uh, and I, I think it was the, the best uh, situation for me to, to have, you know, uh, a calm and a relaxed uh, environment to, to, to talk with you. Yeah. Cool. So talk us through your time with us then, Marcelo. You joined us in 1999 from Sheffield United. Um, and your debut, you, you scored on your debut, didn't you, at Portsmouth? It was an absolute yeah. world. It was no, an absolute no, no, no. Right. Yeah. It was uh, against Queen's Park Rangers. Oh, was it? I thought you, yeah, oh, I thought you yeah, scored. Yeah, no, no, it was in oh, London. Yeah, got I got I've got something wrong, Chris. Yeah, what's going on? I must yeah. be. Uh, I, must <laughs> no, be no, I must be. Spacking. Can we jump, can we play that over and over and over again later after the show? <laughs> <laughs> and it was two. Huh? I scored two goals in this. In this game. Two. Yeah, I scored two. So yeah. I remember you getting a, I remember you getting a screamer against Portsmouth away. I thought that was your debut. Sorry, I must have. Oh uh, no, 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 no. I remember this game, this goal, but it was not my my debut. No, no, it was in. Against Queen's Park Rangers, and I think, yeah, we won 3 2. 3 2, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I uh, scored the second and the, the third. Mm. Okay, yeah, brilliant. Now you say that, I do remember yeah. one of them was a great goal. Volley as well, wasn't it? From the Volley, end of the box? yeah, outside yeah. of the box, yeah, yeah. The second goal, goal was outside of the, the box, yeah. Did uh, you enjoy your time at St Andrews, Marsh? Oh, very, very much, very much. Yeah, what do you, you think uh, of us mad supporters? Yeah, it was always very nice with me, you know. I think I think sometimes uh, uh, because of the injuries that I have, you know, twist the ankles two or three times, and yeah. because of my back, uh, when I was getting, you know, a good form, you know, uh, you know, scoring goals, you know, I have to stop two three weeks, and uh, it was always hard for me, you know, always hard for me. But the way that the you know the supporters with me was very was top class, always mm-hmm. top class. Uh, you know, on the on the on the stadium in St Andrews, uh, around uh, my 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 home in Solihull, always with the, you know very very nice words, and uh, you know for sure I, I'm I miss a lot I miss a lot the my time there. Do you, uh-huh. do you get to visit? Do you get to visit very often? No, no. The last time mm. was uh, uh, was in a party. Uh, mm. I think it was the the birthday of, of the club. Was yeah. in the uh, we are talking about uh, oh, yeah, five years ago. Game. Maybe it was yeah. Gary Howard who was the manager at that time. You know, Gary, yeah. Gary played with me. Uh, so uh, and uh, you know, I was with a lot of of uh, teammates. You know, with, uh, Jeff with uh, Nick Eden, Martin O'Connor, Dilia de, de Bola. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, a lot of, a lot of people that you know uh, was very very nice to to play with. Yeah. yeah. Jason McDonald wants to know what was your favourite moment whilst at Blues. My f- favourite moment, uh, oh, it's uh, it's hard to to pick, but uh, maybe my hat trick. Uh, I scored a hat trick against. Uh, good question. Let me remember the the game. I think we won four one. I scored three, and uh, Tommy Moon scored one. Was it Bradford? Is huh? it Bradford? Bradford. Bradford. Exactly. Bradford. Bradford. Exactly. Yeah. Bradford. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 2015, yeah. says Steve Portman. Uh, yeah. Tim Cratcher Faraday is one of our actor friends. He says he's a big fan of Marcello. Keep right on, mate. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Terry Dempsey wants to know if you're waiting outside the training ground with a new sign in. <laughs> <laughs> is Alex Song. Have we got Alex Song? He's <laughs> 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 in the boot. <laughs> 
don't do that. Uh, Sam wants to know, where did you go after the Blues? Where did you go after the Blues, Marcelo? After the Blues was oh. the big, uh, biggest mistake of my career. <laughs> <laughs> I, I signed. I signed with Walsall. Yeah, I signed with, with Walsall. Oh, right. No, I can. I can explain very, very easily. Uh, you know, my my the, the, this mistake. You know, uh, as as I told you, know, in the season of the promotion, and I think I finished as a, the best goal scorer of the of the team. Me and Tom Mooney with the twelve goals. Uh, you know, I, after uh, St- uh, Trevor France left was uh, Mick Mills who who stay uh, I, I don't know if 10 12 games and I, I was scoring a lot of goals you know I was in very good form mm-hmm. and uh, Steve Bruce came to Birmingham City and Steve was my coach in Sheffield United uh, and at Sheffield United with Steve Bruce in six months I scored 20 goals you know in six months uh, so when I saw Steve Bruce coming to to Birmingham uh, to Birmingham City you know, I was very, very happy because, you know, the the, the gaffer uh, knew me uh, very well and uh, he knew that I, I could keep scoring goals and help Birmingham City to, to go to Premier League. Uh, and I was in my last year of contracts. So uh, Birmingham City has an option, you know, but the, the option or uh, in their side, not in my side, in their side. So, um, and I was in the last, last year of contracts. Uh, you know, my, the, my first game was against uh, Wolves in, uh, at Wolverhampton. Uh, I scored one goal. Uh, second game, I, f- I was at home against Gr- Grimsby. I, you know, I, I missed a penalty. The game after, you know, Steve you know, called me and explained to me that uh, he's coming to the club. Uh, he has, you know, a lot of strikers. Uh, in that time, was six strikers. was Jeff, was Dile De Bola, Paul Fulong. Tommy Mooney, uh, me, and uh, he signed Stan John. Yeah. So he, his idea is to change, you know, and because we are, you know, playing every four for four days, to change uh, the, the strikers every every game. And uh, you know, I, I, I was feeling you know uncomfortable with the, the situation because yeah. I, I knew that my my contract was coming to an end, and uh, if I did not you know keep scoring goals. Uh, I have my my life very difficult to 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 keep it the, in the club, you know. Mm-hmm. And come also, uh, and uh, also uh, was in same division uh, near of my 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 home. Uh, Martin O'Connor, the skipper, no, and yeah. David Watford uh, was was signing with the club. So I was thinking, you know, it's good. I, I go there. Uh, I will play three months there at also. I score some goals. And they'll be a free agent. And uh, as a free agent, you'll be e- very easy to meet to, to sign with a good 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 club. Uh, but you know the things doesn't happen uh, sometimes. Uh, uh, how we we think, you know, because uh, the team of also do not create a lot of chances. Uh, you know, was always you know playing counter attack. You know, and uh, was always very difficult for me to to score goals. Mm. So in eight games, I scored just one goal. And uh, at the end of the season, uh, Blues, you know, get promotion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, also survived, you know, because it was good. But in the in that time, uh, there was a big problem in the in the summer that ITV, ITV, um, just you know, getting big troubles, you know, so they don't have money uh, to to keep you know giving money to to the clubs, mm-hmm. and uh, was a big trouble to the club to sign new players, you know. So, uh, come a possibility for me. Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it was, uh, you know, come an opportunity for me to, to sign in, in, a, in, a, in a good club in Portugal, mm-hmm. uh, the club of my, my city that was in, in Super League in Portugal, and uh, sign with a uh, three years contract. So, oh, okay. I, was, I was 33 years old. So it was good for me so, to, to, to sign with Academic Equipment. Yeah. But yeah. for sure, you know, it was a big mistake because, you know, uh, if, I, if I keep, you know, uh, playing, uh, even, even doesn't play the, 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 you know, frequently as, as I, I wanted, yeah. but always involved in, in, in the game, uh, for sure I, I will be a, a Premier League player with, uh, with the Birmingham City. Yeah. 
Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Yeah. Uh, someone's just said you haven't well, changed much. That was, just, we hear these yeah. stories so often that, uh, you know, it's yeah. either gone one way or it's gone the other. And you know what? As, as a football fan, it, I think it's difficult for us to sit in and take in, you know, what you have to experience as players, like, because your, your careers are short. Um, you ain't got a clue whether you're going to be playing for one club or, or another one within a week's time. Uh, and it's just, there just seems to be just so much turmoil with, you know, within the, within the sport. Yeah. Okay, boy. It's true. It's true. And in in during during the, the this this period, you know, was the the, the birth of my of my daughter that born there in in Solihull. Uh, you know, was uh, my wife was involved with the baby, so uh, could not give some uh, advice. You know, good advice because what what I need in that time maybe was a good advice to you know to, to keep working to keep be you know. Uh, relaxed and uh, keep believing that uh, you'll be, I'll be there. You know, uh, scoring goals uh, at the Blues. Yeah, and who was the favourite player? You, who was your favourite player to play with at, at Blues, Marcelo? Uh, alongside me uh, as uh, doing the the strike uh, partnership. Yeah, you know, uh, <clears throat> I think with with Jeff, with Jeff, uh, I score many goals. Yeah, yeah, he, with assists, uh, he scored goals also. I think yeah. we did a very good partnership in the in my last in my last season at the Blues. Yeah. In my opinion, was my best one. Okay, I did not finish the season, but that seven eight months was very good. And uh, my partnership with Jeff Oldsfield was was nice. Yeah, yeah. I remember the Coventry game in particular, where uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, three 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 nil wasn't it? You said Mark, yeah, three nil, three, three nil, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. got two, and, and yeah, Jeff, got... Jeff, Jeff get the yeah. other one. Yes, yes. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that one. Yeah. That's yeah. And who was the best player you ever played against? Against? Yeah. Uh, but in England or? In, in, in your whole career, if you like. Do your whole career. Do, or do both. Do England and your whole career, if it's different. <laughs> yeah, uh, as, a, as a defender, you know, I have the, the opportunity to, to play with uh, a very big defender that was uh, training against him every, every day. Yeah. That was Ricardo Gomes, a Brazilian captain of the national team of Brazil. Yeah. Uh, you know, big yeah. guy uh, that was in two World Cups with Brazil. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, was uh, a top defender, a top defender. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. And alongside, uh, you know, uh, and João Pinto in Benfica. João Pinto was... Uh, uh, yeah, João Pinto. Yeah, he was I played with, play with him. We do... Yeah. Uh, there's loads, 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 loads of comments coming in. Uh, Terry Dempsey says, I'm not a very happy chap. I've been waiting ages for my Domino's pizza. They've said a driver called Marcello was delivering it for me. And Daniel Ricketts has joined us. Hello, Daniel. Great to have you on board tonight, mate. Uh, I wish we were all back to normal, buddy, and meeting up every Saturday, but it is what it is at the minute. Uh, 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 Marcello dos Santos Cipriano, born 11th of October 1969. Mm. Look, well, he well, doesn't well. look a day over 21. Good year. Good year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you say you came from a city in, in Portugal. Which one was that one? Uh, I live in Coimbra. 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 It's, a, it's a very old city, uh, university city, you know. Coimbra is one of the oldest uh, universities of Europe. I shall have Academica. a look at I shall Google it and get get hold of some pictures, see what uh, um, see what uh, kind of place you live in. Sam Mollett wants to know who did you room with on away games? Who did you who, who always with? always with Stan Lazaridis, my mate. Big Stan, mate. Stan, yeah. Stan, Stan. Stan the man, yeah, was always with me. We are neighbors there in, in Dickensif. We are always together, me and Stan. Yeah, oh, I miss him does. a lot. He's in Australia now. He's Australian. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. not involved in football. He's not involved in football. Uh, property, I think. Property, I think. Property. He's a property developer, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was yeah. always a very smart guy, you know. A business guy. <laughs> business man. <laughs> yeah. fantastic, fan, fantastic player, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was yeah. yeah. Excellent. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, yeah. yeah. Maybe we uh, should try and, maybe we should try and hook, you, to hook you two up. Maybe, yeah. Uh, Marcelo, maybe we should try and hook you, hook you two back up. Get you both, get you both together again, having a chat. Nice. I could do it. Yeah. I could, oh, we could, could do it. Brilliant. Brilliant. We could yeah, organise. I'm sure. Uh, yeah. Graham, Dana Robinson wants to know: Did Ian Bennett ever prank you? Did sorry, Ian Bennett ever prank you? 
make a joke on you. Blink you. Benno was always uh, very, very, uh, very funny guy. Always yeah. very funny guy. And an incredible goalkeeper. Uh, and, uh, and he's another guy that I miss, you know. He's always with a smile on the dressing room, you know. When every time that he was coming to the dressing room every day, he was always, you know, joking, smiling. Uh, no, we have a, a very nice atmosphere there in the dressing room. Very nice. With John, or John was um, unbelievable also. All of his mm -hmm. jokes. I think, um, and I, I think we have to, to, to give the marriage to, to Steve, to, sorry, to Trevor Francis. Because him and uh, I know that uh, his wife passed away, you know. And, um, but they create always uh, a good atmosphere between the players and between the families of the players. So always... Uh, organizing, you know, dinners, uh, uh, um, you know, situation to everybody to be together, and mm -hmm. uh, and I think uh, the success that the, the, the club has after was um, was um, merit of, of him also. You know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are, you, are you in contact? Are you in contact with any of your ex teammates for Blues or Sheffield, or do you stay in touch with any of them? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, or some of them, you know, now by uh, Messenger by you know Facebook, yeah, yeah. Pers, the journal, yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah. we, we match your corner, yeah. We we change some uh, some uh, Danny Sonner, also funny guy. Mm. Danny Sonner, yeah, we've got Sonner, a yeah. couple Sonner, of weeks. Yeah, yeah we've we got yeah. a wonderful yeah. comment. We have we have a wonderful comment coming in from Jason Plant, Tommy's dad. Um, just saying thank you for dedicating this show to our son Tommy. It means so much in the hardest yeah. time of our life. The blue support from the club to fans. Um, has been so lovely, we are touched. So, yeah, God, 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 God bless, God God bless you, Jason. Yeah, right. yeah. Biggest goosebumps ever, man. Biggest goosebumps ever, you know. And Jason, you know, we're all eternally sorry. And, and you know, wow, 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 wow. You know what, though? We are all here for you. And we always will be. Every single one of us, yeah? Because we're a family. And that's what we do. Yeah. That's what we do best. Mm. Uh, Graham Haynes wants to know, how did it feel playing in the Worthington Cup final? Yes, good question. Yeah, well, yes, was one one of the best moments that uh, that I have as a as a player. Uh, I think uh, we deserve to win this this cup. I remember very well that uh, you know I came as a sub, me and AJ, Andrew Johnson. Uh, in that time, we, we scored the penalty that was almost in the at the end of the, the game, and in the um, after time, you know, the was a penalty on AJ, and oh. they have. Do not oh, play yeah, so, clear penalty. Yeah, yes. Well, I think was very clear penalty. Very clear penalty. Now with the VAR, for sure, uh, <laughs> we, we have won the this this cup. Uh, that well, I don't sure. know. VAR yeah. kept a certain football club in the Premier League last year, didn't they? Huh? With one yeah. dodgy goal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but so it was it was an uh, incredible day for me for uh, all the lads. You know, uh, atmosphere on the on the on the stadium. You know, forty thousand blues fans. Mm. Was, Notice was incredible. Was yeah. very nice. Of course, I I, I did not have the you know the the season the season after you know the the final of the playoffs that yeah. I, that was an incredible day uh, and uh, but you know these memories uh, you stay with me for forever. For sure. They yeah. don't just stay yeah. with you, though. Do you know what they do? They stay with us as well. As fans, they stay with us. Yeah. They're deep-rooted into our minds, our yeah. hearts. I know. The way I'm of sure. life that we live, they're deep-rooted. Yeah. Proper, proper bloke you are, mate. Nice one. Well yeah. done. Yeah. I, yeah. I remember, I remember coming out of the Millennium Stadium after we lost to Liverpool on penalties, and I didn't feel like we'd lost. It no, was it's weird. No, 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 that's right. I just, I felt, so, I like I just felt, felt so proud. proud. I felt so, so proud, proud of you yeah. all. Yeah, I know. It's true, and, and I felt that. I felt that from from the, the stands, you know, from the supporters. That was was a, so so big proud that yeah. what we achieved there. Yeah, uh, so Fantastic. proud that uh, you know. Uh, but what can I do? And uh, what can I say? Uh, yeah. Football is like that, you know. Football like is like that. I scored my penalty. That was uh, yeah. Yeah. Against, against, I was against the Liverpool fans, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, and the you know the, the two days after we we are you are in the, the city you know doing the like the tour and uh, all the the people there the, the blues fans were on the streets and uh, 
Yeah. And uh, FIFA are very proud of uh, what we, we did. Yeah. Fantastic. It did feel to me like somebody had broken into my house and stolen everything that I have possessed. Though, <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it's right in front of you, and, and like the whole world could see it, apart from Mr. David Ellery. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was a, it was it was an outrageous decision, wasn't it? I just think he bottled it, and that was it. You know, he just didn't have the uh, how shall I put it? He didn't have the minerals to give two penalties to us, did he? In that no, game, and he didn't doing have the job. Uh, doing doing the job. I can what ask you, you if, it was, if it was the reverse, you know, if the penalty was for to, to Liverpool, maybe yeah. you. I wouldn't be yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, 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 absolutely. We've got a few questions that have um, come in in the week from some of our viewers. So if you don't mind, I'll ask a couple. <laughs> um, so Stephen Gill's asking, what was your favourite goal for Blues and who was your toughest opponent you ever faced? In your career, so you think you've, you've you've already answered that one, haven't you? To be fair, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah but what was your favourite goal for Blues? Uh, was it against Portsmouth? Yeah, that yeah, goal. That, yeah, I take the ball in the middle of the the, the field. I run with the ball, and mm. uh, outside of the box, maybe thirty meters of of the goal, uh, I score a, a good goal. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And Forest, remember the, the one at Forest. Forest well. one, yeah, that's yeah. And Forest, Forest was one. good also. Yeah, uh, outside of the box. Yeah, great yeah. goal. Yeah, yeah. It was a good goal also. You didn't yeah. score many in you didn't score many in the box, did you? They were all well these guys from <laughs> 25 yards. <laughs> a chap called Richard Taylor's just private messaged me with somebody wearing a, a COVID mask and it's got the blue sign on one side yeah. and the villa sign on the other side. Now that no. is just wrong. No. Oh, that is wrong. I'm not gonna upload the photo. He's banned because right, I don't want that dirt on my computer anyway. He's banned. But that is just wrong. I'll turn it off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Charlie, did you play for the Blues when the other Brazilian uh, Fumaca signed for us? If so, what happened with him and why didn't he make the team? Tell me again, sorry. <laughs> I think it's a bit slower. A bit slower, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Nick. Yeah, did you play for the Blues when the other Brazilian, is it Fumaca? Is that Fumaca. It? Yeah. Mm. Signed for us. If so, what happened with him and why didn't he make the team? Fumaca. 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 A Brazilian no. player for... Play for Blues? No, he didn't stay long. He was, he was, he didn't stay long for Maka. There's not many Brazilians that apply for Blues. Um, <laughs> obviously yourself. <laughs> I, I could not remember. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I could not uh, remember the, this this player. No, that, that's probably for the best. <laughs> yeah, it's probably for the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah someone <laughs> says. I, I, I'm a friend. I'm with friend of a Portuguese player. I am friend of Portuguese player Dominguez. Dominguez. We'd love to get we'd love to get him on as well. We love, Jose. That'd be yeah. fantastic. We love Jose. Yeah, yeah we love Jose. Yeah, you yeah. Like, oh yeah, that'd be that would be the fact, yeah, Ru, do, you remember, do you remember Ru, Rui Estevez? Ah, uh, who is Steves? Yes, I know. Rui Estevez. Yes. The blonde yeah. guy yeah. midfielder. Yes, yes. He didn't stay long. He didn't stay long. I think it's no, one no. game. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. Why is it much, Ali? When when you think like looking back over your football career, and we've just mentioned a few a few guys that get signed for a football club and then, like you say, play one game. Mm. Yeah, it's strange, mm. no? It's strange. You know, uh, to think about that, uh, Danny Sonner, Danny Sonner is a very funny guy. Yeah. All, the t- <laughs> all, all the time in the West Hills uh, training ground, he's coming uh, to, to everybody say, we are very, very unlucky because we sign a Brazilian the, uh, but looks like an English player. No, so <laughs> you know, you know, like he, he said the, uh, it's very funny the way that he, he said, but the, the meaning was like that. You know, he signed a Brazilian player, but he's more English than Brazilian, so we are unlucky. Instead of he has a, a technical Brazilian player, he signed a, a more English than Brazilian player, you know. So he was, and I think this is why you know I, I stay five years in England, you know, yeah. I think it was because of my. Yeah, my... <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think we lost you there. Hang on. Is this the way? Oh, he's just frozen. Oh, he's just frozen. He's, You're frozen. He drove off. He's frozen. He's driven off. He's oh, driven no. off. <laughs> oh, somebody's asked for a pizza. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think come he's back. Uh, he'll come back in a bit. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. But you'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's... Um... <laughs> It's, pl- it's plain to see that Marcello is he's quite he's quite well loved, isn't he? By the uh, Blues. You know fans. what? Absolutely. Oh, some guy, oh, yeah. I must say, rather handsome guy. He is, yeah, huh? I know, yeah. So he's he's yeah. he sort of slotted in well with us. Uh, for, I'm surprised. Uh, for, I'm surprised. Linda's not like owned in on it. And, yeah, you know, he's, back. Come back. he's come back. He's, he's, back. 
He's gone back. He's gone back. Yeah, <laughs> you back now, mate. Yeah, yeah, is. The, the Wi-Fi in the car is not the best. Oh, no. You have to put another quid in the parking meter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody just come for a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you 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 heard about what I'm explaining now, but uh, you know, I, 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 maybe I was feeling more a, a Portuguese player, you know, than a Brazilian player. And uh, yeah. and uh, I'm very proud of what I made, you know, in England, you know, to uh, was I saying that to score 72 goals in uh, in five seasons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, between Sheffield United and Birmingham City, I think it's a good um, a good number. Good for, yeah, for good number. So, yeah, because uh, you would you would yeah. you would have played you would have played with our very own Paul Devlin as well, wouldn't you, at Sheffield? Yeah, you know, yeah, you... yeah, 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 yeah. And I know uh, Devlin. You know, have a, a very, a very um, important, uh, famous uh, goal. Goal was a very famous uh, game. Uh, was against Arsenal. Uh, the the um, the fair play game. I don't know if you remember. Was uh, yeah, when yeah, when Steve Bruce took you all off the pitch. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Was still, was the coach. You know, I scored the goal. I scored the one-one. Was Paul Devlin who 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 make the who made the the, the cross in the yeah. score ahead against Martin Keon. And the goalkeeper was David mm. Simon. So, uh, you know, was was a good goal also was, was with Paul, with Paul Devlin. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's, yeah he's, he's all be burning now if he's not watching. Yeah. Who was yeah. the goalkeeper? Yeah. I'll tell you who was the goalkeeper. What, David Simon. Oh, started Dave, his career at Andrews. Yeah. Started his career at Blues, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of yeah. Player. yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't yeah. know. I, before yeah. Arsenal, before Arsenal. Before Arsenal, yeah, he started yeah. his he started yeah. his playing career at Birmingham. Yeah, I didn't didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Good player. And then okay. he went to QPR, and then he went to QPR, didn't yeah. he? And then he went to Arsenal from QPR. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you got, yeah, I've got to thank Richard Taylor for sending me that photograph. But Chris, can we download next week um, uh, a soundbite of a toilet being flushed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because certain no, no. things I think we really genuinely need to get rid of, like a room one hundred and one. But straight down the bog hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Ray's oh, asking no. a question on behalf of Linda. Who was the longest what? in the shower? <laughs> <laughs> I think we mean time. I, I cannot remember. I cannot remember. He don't want to but, say. He doesn't want to say. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't want to say. Uh, who was, the biggest, uh, who, who was the biggest influence on you on the pitch, Marcelo, at Blues? Good biggest question. Biggest influence. Uh, It's, it's it's not it's not easy to to answer this. I think uh, everybody was you know has a, a a way to to do deal with me. You know, yeah. Yeah. some some uh, with a very open way, like Stan Stan Zaridz was a big friend of mine. Yeah, uh, yeah. He was always you know in the 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 first uh, six months was taking care of me of my family, you know, and that was the reason why I was his neighbor. Uh, some of the guys, you know, David also uh, was with me, was my captain at Sheffield United. Yeah. David was, and after I was with him there in, in Birmingham, so yeah. he helped him a lot also. Uh, some other players was, the, you know, the very, very funny way to to uh, to, to to deal with me in the, in the training ground every day. Yeah. So it helped me to to get involved with the with the with the group with the team. So, yeah. but I, I cannot say there was a. You know, a particular uh, guy who who was more influential you know, on, on no. me. The, mm-hmm. they, they were a team. They were a team full of leaders, weren't they? Every one of them. They were all. They were all leaders on mm-hmm. the pitch, weren't they? Yeah, and, exactly. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. You definitely it, want to it go. It's really good. It's... But but for example, not just the players. You know, not just the players. I remember, uh, and of course, you know, and uh, I, I remember I remember him with with love in, in my heart. Was Brian Brian Murphy. The guy who was in the training ground giving oh, yeah. the, the tea, you know, for uh, all the players every mm. day was with a good, uh, good words to towards me, mm. you know. Even in the my the time that I was not playing regularly, he was always with a uh, with a good uh, good word, you know, saying good uh, good, good things to me. So um, it's I really think nice that, to say that. Is that's a really nice thing to yeah. say? Really, you know, uh, it's, it's not I very often. In my heart, you know, uh, Brian was. Uh, a top guy, a top mm. guy. Uh, I know that he has some problems and uh, he passed away. And I'm yeah, very sad yeah, uh, because of that. 
but he's a, he's a, another person, not just the players, but another person that I, I miss. I miss a lot. Sure. What a, what a beautiful we set really of supporters, connected. Sheffield or Birmingham? Tell me again, sorry? Best set of supporters, Sheffield or Birmingham? Oh, I, think, I think I think they Whoa. are very very similar, very similar. Yeah, very similar. Yeah. And you know, uh, I think I, I did very well at Sheffield also. You know, yeah. At Sheffield, I, I did very well in the the Blades, uh, and I think the way that I left um, uh, Sheffield United to to Birmingham City, I think they are a little bit upset with me. And the, the, my first game against Sheffield United, I heard from the from the supporters that they they are not happy. Mm. Uh, they are no, they are. Thinking that I I used to stay at Sheffield United, but Sheffield United in that time was uh, with financial problems, and I, I I thought that for my career was better to 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 go to Birmingham, and uh, and I think I did well. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, one to eleven, Paul. Do you want to crack on? Nearly ten past eight now. Oh, cracking! Yeah. yeah. So so yeah, we've asked uh, obviously like we ask all our all our special guests uh, to pick you one to eleven from the players you played with uh, for us. Um, so I like the way you pitch yourself at the start. How's um, <laughs> that? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you have subbed yourself. That's wrong on every level. You, so, um, he's, he's subbed himself, yeah. He subbed himself, yeah. So um, <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. if, if we start in goal and then yeah, far away. The goal uh, was Beno. Yeah. No, Beno. because my, my criteria about my, my, my 11. The, yeah. You know, yeah. It's the, the players that I play more games, you know, that I yeah. have more. Uh, you know, uh, memories, more memories, and I think uh, after you know, after you finish a career, and I finished my career you know, more than 15 years ago, uh, and my my last game for for Birmingham City was almost 20 years ago. Uh, I think what we have is the mem- memories, is the 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 link with the with the teammates, with the people on the club. Uh, and that's why instead of uh, pick 11 the best players, you know, uh, I pick the 11 players that I have more uh, friendship, more yeah. games, more memories in goals, in, in, good, mm. uh, in good, good games. Uh, and that's why I, I, I pick this, this 11. You know, yeah. and, and the goal was Beno because Beno was, was with me since I arrived there in, in Birmingham. Yeah. I was the, goal, mm. the goalkeeper in that time. Uh, after it came uh, in the last last season was a Belgian uh, uh, Nico Vazen Nico Vazen I think Ben was uh, sub in this time mm. but uh, I can I have to keep uh, Ben was uh, as number one mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and right back Nick Eden Nick Eden yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Nick, anybody Nick give was... anybody give Nick Eden a run for his money no was he by far and away the best or the, the first choice you play with Jerry Gill? Yes, also, yeah. Uh, and, uh, Jerry. Sometimes Jerry, Jerry was playing right back and Nick Eden as a right midfielder. Okay, yeah, yeah, that was, yeah. A, that was on the... But now the I'm, my, my team is more offensive one. I put Nick Eden on the back, but I have a, a, a very, very fast right winger. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, your first central defender? Was that in Perth? Yeah, Perth, yeah. Uh, solid and, one. Uh, yeah, and uh, very mm. solid. Uh, you know, he scored the, the penalty in a very you know crucial moment on on the game. You know, so yeah. he showed character and, yeah. uh, and belief. Yeah, uh, and he's my my friend. He was in in the the uh, what's the name uh, the Christian uh, celebration of my daughter here in. Uh, in okay. Portugal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and the and the Salazarides yeah. they they both come to. To, to be with me here in the, in the Christian party of my, my daughter. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Oh, yeah, he was telling us, we, we've had Darren Purse on before, and he was telling us about that moment when he was stood on the halfway line, you know, 80,000 people around him, obviously 40,000 Liverpool, 40,000 Birmingham. Yeah. And, he, and he's got to hold the football, obviously, and wait for Martin O'Connor to get treatment and, and be stretched off after he'd been yeah. like taken out for the penalty. And it was yeah. like about a pause for about eight or nine minutes, I think he said. Um, yes. and, and yeah, he was just explaining to us how he felt at that time. You know, it must have been very nerve wracking for him. But uh, uh, he just said how confident he was that he was never he wasn't going to miss. Yes, yes. I think uh, the the way that you in the image you 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 see the, the his face, you know, very mm. very positive, you know. And, yeah. Uh, and I think everybody felt the same. Uh, we felt that the, the goal will be a, will be a goal. And the, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, I could see but, the celebration. Uh, credit see credit yeah, for him. Credit for him for sure. Stick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sticking his the, tongue, I sticking could, his tongue out. Yeah. Yeah, I could see the <laughs> celebration now. Yeah, he got, goes to take his shirt yeah. off, and AJ does, and then the dose. Yeah. And I remember yeah. you being. I think you were still behind AJ. And you like glanced. Yes, back. yeah, yes. Yeah, we go yeah. together. But then yeah. of course AJ and I was uh, the next one in the celebration. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Um, so yeah. yeah. So okay. So in front, Perth. in front of the Blues fans. In front of the Blues fans. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then next to Darren Purse at the back, uh, Jono. Yeah. Jono. Yeah, yeah. Was uh, it's another one that would play. You know, during my 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 career in in Birmingham, I think uh, he played ninety percent of the games. Uh, mm. His left foot was was very good for a, for a centre back and a, a very strong and fast fast defender. Yeah, yeah. Have to pick him. Mm. And left back, that, that's a no brainer, isn't it? Left back. Yeah, Mar Martin Granger. Yeah, yeah. Martin was uh, yeah a very. I think he's, he's a guy that was uh, that give everything inside the pitch. You know, uh, he fight for the for Blues as. I was nobody, you know. I was very, very hard guy uh, with uh, with uh, with technique, good free kicks. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. My my pick. Yeah, Absolutely. fantastic play. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then right right midfield. Is it four four two? Yeah, four four two. Yeah, I, I put four two four. You know, so I four two four. Very offensive. Very offensive. I suppose you are a striker's agent, aren't you? So it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I put I put AJ as a, uh, Andrew Johnson as a right uh, right winger. Right and, wing, uh, yeah. My opinion, he, he could do that also. He could do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then uh, I think Central. he plays some games as uh, as a right winger also. Yeah, 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 yeah I remember. Yeah, he can, he yeah. can do it in the, the the left left uh, the right side of the attack. You know. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think I need to ask you the left winger either, do I? <laughs> left winger is uh, yeah, it's another one that was uh, you know, uh, you know, Stan was was incredible uh, during my time and after in the in the Premier League because I was watching the games and yeah. Stan was top class, you know. So uh, yeah. I think I don't mm -hmm. know the other the other left left wingers of of Birmingham, but he, in my opinion, can be in the top five of uh, all all left wingers uh, in this sort of the, of Birmingham City. Yeah, he's the best I've seen in my time. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Absolute um, class. Yeah, great player. Um, and then your two central midfielders. It was Martin O'Connor. You know, was the skipper. Uh, <laughs> keeper was uh, always he's there. Played every team, every yeah. team. Every, he's him. mentioned <laughs> every week. It's, what we might as well have them up the Martin O'Connor show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. I, we left. We oh. left together. But as it too also, we left together. So, oh. uh, but uh, now his time in, in the Blues, uh, he was top class. You know, uh, scoring yeah. goals, yeah, yeah, yeah. scoring goals, uh, putting the, the team. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of belief that uh, the, the things you be you be okay. Mm. So uh, mm. he's a good skipper, good player, and he deserved to be in the the, the eleven. Okay. Paul, for next week, for next week, Paul, can we have their favourite supporter as well? <laughs> 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 okay. And then next to next to uh, Skip in the middle, yeah, it was Brian Hughes. Hughes yeah. was Hughes, yeah, yeah. incredible talent. Oh, incredible talent. talent. Mm. I think uh, he's he's more. He was more Brazilian than me. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was a genius. Was, oh, yeah. What a player! Yeah. The best for player sure, for sure, he was unbelievable. I think. Uh, I think, in my opinion, and he could he could play in a, in a in a top level top level when I mm. say top level like uh, yeah uh, he, I think he's from Wales no uh, yes no, he's from, yes yes yeah, uh, yeah. but uh, well, he's from Liverpool and he's a, he's a, from Liverpool yeah 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 he can play yeah so uh, yeah. I think he could he could play in in, in a World Cup uh, he yeah. has this talent mm. but oh, sometimes definitely. you know the things doesn't happen like. Uh, like we, we we think or we deserve, you know. Yeah. But he has this talent to to do to do well. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah do you remember yeah. his goal? Do you remember his goal? Do you remember his goal against Watford? Yes, yes. Yeah. His yeah. Goal against Watford after it's the cup final. Yeah. Me. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a goal! Yeah. Well, I think Berkham, gifted players have ever Berkham, seen. Berkham, what a goal like that! No Berkham. Mm. Then yeah. Berkham. Bird camp. Bird camp. Yeah. 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 I think mm. he scored a similar goal. Yeah, oh, he scored yeah. many goals like that, didn't he? Dennis Bergkamp, he was unreal. Mm -hmm. He was, he was, yeah. uh, he was superhuman. He was. Um, and then you took. Well, Hughes edged it for me. 
<laughs> and then you two up front. Uh, you know, was uh, Jeff Jeff Oldfield? I have to yeah. be at soup now, again, <laughs> again. <laughs> uh, Jeff, Jeff, you know, Jeff for sure. Jeff did very well in the in the season of the the promotion. Promotion season. Yeah. So some goals. We did a very prolific partnership in the in this season. Mm. Uh, before I left to also uh, score some goals. He scored some goals also. Mm. He gave him a lot of assistance. Uh, so uh, I have to to choose uh, Jeff, you know, for sure. And yeah. after, you know, he, he did very well in the, in the Premier League. I know that. He scored some goals. Mm. Important yeah. goals yeah. against uh, Aston Villa. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, very. Yeah. I have to choose him. Yeah, yeah. And then next to him? is Dili. Dili de Bola. Dili de Bola. Uh, you know, incredible power. Good left foot, uh, you know. Nice man as well. Yeah, yeah nice guy. Blood, very yeah. nice guy. Yeah. My friend also, you know, very nice guy. Very nice guy. I think if he was not so nice guy, maybe he could have uh, a better career. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yes. Sometimes happen yeah. like that. You know? Marcello, and, true story. Uh, true story. Incredible, incredible, incredible guy. True yeah. story, Marcello, right? My son... Had a rabbit called Gili Adibola. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to make the sign for it. Crikey, it was long. Yeah. <laughs> Good shout here from uh, Nicholas Wellsbury. Uh, that was a great team, yeah. by the way, Marcelo. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. Um, mm-hmm. Nicholas Wellsbury, good luck to Pedersen. Uh, first international call up for Denmark. So, Christian yeah, Pedersen, Pedersen has left back. been called up as well, hasn't he, Paul? Mm-hmm. Say again? Has Beale been called up as well? Yeah, yes. I believe yes. so, yeah. Yes. Frangola, yeah. 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 yeah, crikey, we've got an international setup, mate. That's not right, yeah. 11 years, has it? <laughs> <laughs> the things are on the up. <laughs> are you seeing much of Birmingham nowadays, Marcelo? Are you watching us on the TV in Portugal at all much, or are you seeing us about anywhere? No, just by you know by Facebook, the results and yeah. some some goals. Uh, yeah, uh, when when Birmingham was in the Premier League, yeah, I, I watched some some games some games. Yeah. Uh, and I just hope that uh, they they can, uh, they, you can uh, go again to the Premier League. You know, with with Karanka. I know yeah. Karanka is a, is, a, is a good coach. Uh, yeah. yeah. Let's see. I, I know some uh, some turbulence in the, the in the the past. You know, uh, with the, the board and the, the the situation. So um, mm. I'm no, I'm a supporter now. I'm a very very big supporter of the Blues. You know, to you know, wishing the the best for the club. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Where, yeah. Did, where, where did you where did you watch the Carling Cup final, Marcelo? Sorry, you know, when we won the cup, where where did you watch the cup final, the Carling Cup final? Uh, did you watch it at home against Arsenal? Do you remember when uh, Open Femi Martins tapped it in? When uh... no, to be honest with you, I think in that time uh, I was out of Portugal. I, I was out of, because of my 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 life, you know, because of the the situation of transfers. Uh, I was out of Portugal. I think I was in Romania, and uh, in that time oh. I could not I could not watch the game. Oh, right. No. Okay. Oh, apparently we've okay. had five called up for international duty. Five. Yeah, I've just asked Graham who, they, who the others were because I've uh, had a bit of a busy day, so I'm not going to yeah. sit and do any. Uh, oh, I didn't know it was five. Oh. Any research today as such? Well, that can't be bad, can mm. it, Nick? You okay there, Marcelo? You got someone talking to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's my he's my people here. <laughs> <laughs> Your Domino's I'll pizza a, ready. I hope you're not on Yeah, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have a Big Mac and fries and a, a strawberry milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> and a lift to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Marcelo's got a touch of good fellas about him. Yes, yeah. I won't mess with him. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Looks a bit good fellow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, somebody says yeah. that you look exactly the same, apart from your yeah. little bit of grey hair. Yeah. You still look fine. I'm sorry, so do I. You are, <laughs> you are very, very kind with me. <laughs> <laughs> you can pay me later. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, oh, yeah. Are you going to sing that one from Stab Smith, Paul? <laughs> What's that, mate? Sorry, I've clicked off the screen. Oh, um, all right, right. <laughs> oh yeah, when the ball when the ball hits the goal, it's not Shearer or Cole, it's Marcelo. Yeah, it was my my song. Yeah, <laughs> it was my song. Yeah. Oh, God. So what you know what? Say, what, would you, what would you say was the best goal scored at St Andrews when you was on the pitch for us? Can you remember? Uh, was it one of yours? 
<laughs> when I was on the pitch, uh, I remember I remember one that I was not on the pitch. The AJ okay. goal against Ipswich when the, oh. the, the keeper missed that one. I think it was <laughs> incredible. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. you know, uh, was the the, the the happiness of everybody inside the, the stadium that yeah. this goal you know, yeah. showed that we were in the, the final. It was incredible. You know, uh, people go inside the pitch. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think uh, I was not you know, on the pitch. I was I was on, on the bench. Yeah, yeah. Was but that the was, best atmosphere uh, you ever saw? Was that the best atmosphere you was ever? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I scored incredible. a goal also. I, I scored one zero. In the playoffs, before the Preston game, yes, he uh, scored. Yeah, uh, uh, was against Grimsby. We won Grimsby, one zero. Yeah. Was packed. Yeah. Uh, sometimes was packed, in, uh, and we score. I score one zero. Was a good goal, and uh, and this goal gave to us the, the you know the playoffs. The playoff. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. Was, edge, was edge, edge of the box. I remember that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Edge of the box. Yeah, yeah. I think it was Nick yeah. Eden giving the ball, and uh, you know just. I touched uh, near the, the 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 post. Yeah, it was. Yeah, uh, I remember. I remember that <laughs> as well. Yeah, and, yeah. And who was your football idol growing up? Who was your favourite player as a child? It was a, a Brazilian one because you know my 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 child yeah. was Brazil until I was twelve years when I left to 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 Portugal. Mm -hmm. uh, and my it was a striker also. It's Roberto Dinamite. It's a player for from Vasco da Gama. Was yeah. the, the the biggest striker ever of Vasco da Gama? My club in Brazil was Vasco da Gama, was the you know the club of the Portuguese people there in Brazil, and yeah. uh, you know the guy was scoring. You know he played always in, in in Vasco. You know he just have six months in in Barcelona, but after yeah. he come back to Vasco also. And my was uh, was the guy that was try to to copy. Yeah. Yeah. So when so when Brazil play Portugal, if they meet, who do you stick up for? Who do you support? Yeah, Brazil or Portugal? For, it's hard for me. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I wish a, a draw. A draw. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say a draw. You're too nice. Is, is it the same when Birmingham play Sheffield United? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question. It's a good question. But you know, uh, to be honest with you, uh, I have more um, uh, a strong link. With the uh, Birmingham City supporters than Chef United, yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people that I have in my Facebook, Instagram, yeah. is uh, you know I have to say, from England, eight eighty percent is from is Birmingham City yeah. supporters. Yeah. Oh, you're well, yes. you're well loved. Yeah, we're a proper old bunch. You know, nobody, you know, yeah. what I can say, for example, in the Facebook, I, I, I saw a lot of uh, goals that I score at at the Blues. But uh, in, at Chef United, um, I did not see no nobody. I never saw a goal in, in the in the Facebook, you know, you know, or in the Instagram that people mm. support right. of played. Thanks for Ray Hobbrook for clearing this one up. It's Bila Pedersen, Badrami, Ryan. Oh, uh, you know, Ryan Stark. There's a few under twenty one lads as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, some young people. Yeah, yeah boy. Uh, yes. Stark and Boyd Munts all come, all called up for international duty. So that's half a team, isn't it? It's not bad, is it? Mm. <laughs> and who was the best manager you ever played for, Marcelo, in your career? Uh, it's, it's not easy to... You know, uh, Steve Bruce, I think uh, I did very well uh, for him there in Sheffield United. Yeah. And maybe, uh, maybe uh, uh, I was frustrated because I was expecting more belief on me. And, you know, it was a different time also was. Uh, but uh, Bruce, you know, and still Bruce is still 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 doing very well. No, he's in, he's a Premier League coach. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, Trevor Francis was a very very good good man, very good man with a fantastic career as a, as a footballer or as a player. I uh, was a good manager also. Uh, yeah. I, I think in England there was this these two managers uh, the, the top. You yeah. know, I have uh, my my coach in Benfica was Arthur Jorge. I uh, was a coach of a very, you know, big top mm. coach of, of Portugal. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, he won the Champions League with Porto in 87. So was a big coach also. Yeah. I think this, yeah. this three, yeah, I have to say. Yeah. This three coach. yeah. A lot of the lads tell us as well how good Trevor was as a, when he came on the training pitch, when he used to play with you all. When he was in, but we got he got involved in training, didn't he, Trevor Francis? Yeah, quite a bit. yeah, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. His, his 
quality was incredible. Of course, yeah. uh, he, he could not run, but the, <laughs> the technical ability, his foot was uh, fantastic. Yeah. Was, uh, he did some, you know, in the five aside, he did some some goals, some uh, some things with the ball that uh, show and that uh, in in his time for sure he was on the top. Yeah. Of so, the, Marcello, you're a football agent, player. yeah. You're a football yes. agent. Yes. How much in his prime would Trevor Francis be worth today in today's market? Good question. Let's go for the age of 18, uh, 19. So, in this time, uh, as an English, as an English player, mm-hmm. yeah. as an English player in the in the Premier League, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe more than 60 million for sure. Yeah. Six mm-hmm. million, 60 million, yeah, 60 yeah. Million. Mm-hmm. yeah, for sure, for sure. For okay. example, I have a. We um, yeah, of course depends the you know the 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 situation. João Felix, the Portuguese uh, young lad, mm. was sold to Atlético Madrid for 120 million uh, mm-hmm. euros. No, a lot of money, a lot of money. Yeah. So it's a breaking uh, news, Steve Job, new signing, incoming lads, and Pete Taylor, Australian kid in on loan. So it looks like we're doing a bit of business somewhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sam Mullet saying 80 million. Yeah. Good, good to see you. Australian kid in on loan. Is Stan coming back? Yeah, <laughs> <can't stop>. we <laughs> wish. He's watching the show, probably. <laughs> oh, Craig, good day, good day. We need to get, we need to get Stan hey, on. We do. really need to get Stan on. We do. Oh, that'd be yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Come on, Craig, do your magic. Yeah, yeah, do your magic, Craig. Come yeah. on. So, get in touch with him, Marcelo, Stan, at all. Stan, yeah. Stan has a Stan? Yeah. yeah, my last time that I spoke with Stan was maybe one year ago. Yeah, okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because you know, sometimes yeah. you know, he has his life. I have my also. That is a very, very you know, uh, fast and with the with the players have to be everywhere. Lisbon, you know, some some travels to to Europe. But uh, for sure, uh, he invited me a lot of times to to go there in, in Australia to to his uh, home, mm. and uh, maybe after I finish as an agent, you know. Uh, six five years old, <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be there. Yeah. you know. Remember, remember the, the, the good good crosses that Stan gave to me, yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll just well, think how many assists you've got. Here we go. This is a Tilton Talk Show sponsored by Bull Sports, of course, the principal sponsor of Birmingham City Football Club and the Garrison Coffee Company, our good friends at SAS Autos. Borsy Labour Club, and next week, next week, I think we ought to do something for the VHST guys. We've not done anything from a lot for a long time. Mm, oh, um, and winter's coming, of course. The bad weather is uh, <laughs> just on the doorstep. So, as the Birmingham Homeless Support Team, we'll be colluding in the week and we'll come up with something. We'll do something for you next week. Okay, that's good. Yep. All right. Okay. Um, Riley McGee, apparently, is his name. 21 Australian Blues yeah. loan, hopefully. I say. So, well, mm. we'll see. We'll wait and see. Wait and see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's midfielder. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Nick. Who said what? Sorry. Oh, so I was just about to say. I think uh, I think Marcel has got to go soon. Have you got to go? Yeah. I yeah, think yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. I think he's going for his dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A business business dinner. A business dinner. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. we know. Oh. We know all about them. Yeah. Yeah, back hand, backhanders, yeah. We're not, we're not, paying, we're not going to pay the bill. We're, we're not paying the bill. I didn't, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> can, can I play an interlude now? I'm on line. I'm on line. Yeah. It's been a pleasure, mate. Thank you for your time. It was a fantastic time. It was a fantastic to remember, you know, the, the good times. And good memories that I have in in Blues, and I hope that I could come come to to Birmingham. You're always welcome. And uh, maybe maybe with a with a good player to help the Blues to come back to Premier League. Yeah, too right, Marcelli. Would you do me a massive favour, my friend? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, we've got a very sad day going on with us with little Tommy Plunk today. Would you send his family a message personally from your heart, my friend? Yeah, uh, no, it's always you know always sad. And us as a players, and in my case, mm-hmm. former player of Blues. Uh, we always give everything for the supporters, and when happen one thing like that, bro. Oh, he's lost. He's lost. Uh, my again. Oh, okay. Have we still got him? No, he's gone. No. Okay. Well, look, you can you can hear the sentiment. You can hear what he was saying. 
what a wonderful man. What a lovely, inspirational bloke. And, um, you know, that's been a proper, proper good conversation with him tonight, Paul. That's been absolutely brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Loved every minute. It's just yeah. great. It's just great to reminisce, isn't it, from, you know, yeah. good times it's down the blues. Time. And, Giving yeah. up their own time. I mean, he lives in Portugal. He's sat in a car. And he wants to talk to Birmingham City yeah, fans. He's you know back. what I mean? He's back. Oh, he's back. back. Marcelo. Yeah. He's back. Oh, you're yeah. back. back. No. Lost you there. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, uh, yes, I, I was. I was saying that as a uh, when I was a player, and uh, all the players, you know, genetically, all the players, when they go to the pitch, is to do well for the club, mm -hmm. but to to give everything for the supporters, mm -hmm. and uh, and when we see a situation like that, uh, a boy with seven years old, uh, you know, with uh, with a big love for for his club. Uh, pass away like that is uh, it's, it's incredible. It's, it's very hard. It's very hard. You know, I don't I don't have words. I just can say uh, to the family, uh, you know, to to stay strong. Uh, it's not mm -hmm. easy. I cannot I cannot understand. I cannot see uh, the the you know the how 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 hard can be uh, one uh, pain like that. But uh, my wish is to to the family to to keep going. You know. Bless you. Thank you very much indeed. Marcelo, you've been an absolute star, my friend. Thanks for all your services to Birmingham City Football Club. Thanks for the great yeah. memories that we had with you. Um, you keep right on, brother. You keep right okay. on. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. You know what? Because yeah. when we belted that song out, we belted out for every single one of you on that pitch. Every single player. Every time. Yeah, That's thanks. what Birmingham City Football Club is all about. Ladies and gentlemen, Marcello Capriano. Thank you. It's been a pleasure, Thank mate. You. All the best. Cheers. Brilliant, man. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the, the invitation and the, all the best for everybody. Yeah. Okay. Come over to Birmingham and soon. Will, and we'll, when all this COVID is over, come over to Birmingham. We'll meet up. We'll have a beer or 16. And then uh, we'll go up the Chilton Road <laughs> and make the boys. For sure. <laughs> Cheers, okay. Marcelo. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, Marcelo. Thank you. Cheers. Bye, bye, bye. Bye -bye. Thank wow, you. Mark. What okay, a lovely man, Mark. Wow. What a, what a lovely man. Oh. What, a, what a top man. What a top yeah. guy. Great, great bloke, yeah. Yeah. Sitting in the car for that, mate. That's incredible. That's superb. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. Lovely man. Yeah, lovely Nicholas lovely. Wells, really nice to see Marcello. Keep right on and to all the boys. Leonard Edgington has confirmed that Aussie Riley McGee, uh, McCree signs official. And welcome to Leonard. I think it's probably about four o'clock in the morning over there in Queensland, Australia. And Steve Portman has just written them up the words of the night. We've always been with you, Jason. One big extended family. Absolutely, yeah. Big pub. Mm, yeah. I don't know where to go from there, to be honest, because it's like <laughs> yeah. you, you want to be, you want to be upbeat, you want to be positive. We're still unbeaten. And then we've got this tragedy, absolute tragedy going on, you know, not in the background. It's it's by our side, yeah? Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, don't, I just want to go and punch a wall at the minute. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm so not violent. I'm so not violent. Yeah. It'd have to be a dry wall with plaster that, you know, would go straight through because I don't have hand else. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Mm, yeah. Something Terry to, Dempsey, uh, he was amazing. Always loved Monday evenings. Great to hear from mm. Marcello tonight from Mike Hill, legend from Stephen Gill. Some lovely, lovely, lovely comments. Thank you, yeah. people. Love that. Yeah, that was a that, that was a, that was a pleasure talking to him. Brilliant, brilliant bloke. Yeah. Um, yeah. What day? day was... Go on, Mark. Was just, uh, we don't no, have, I was, was just going to say. Go on, yeah. Sorry, Mark. Go on, Mark. I was going to say just um, going back to Marcello. That sort of uh, era was just so. I know we didn't go up and we we lost the cup final. Romantic. It was, it was yeah. It was yeah. You know we were chasing something all the you know and it's just um. It's just a really good era. It really was, and then we connected with them all, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was just, um, yeah, getting quite emotional. Yeah. <laughs> Overcome with emotion. Guys, emotion, there. Yeah. There were. Guys, yeah. Uh, right. Somebody said, "Talk, talk show." So I had to shave before the show. Was it my eyebrows? That no, was my legs. <laughs> I, dare take, I dare take it, Mrs. Brown. That's you. <laughs> no, 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 you've got one a... job, mate. You've only got one job. I'll get you back. Great, <laughs> great <laughs> comment from great comment from Pete Taylor. When you see the inspiration behind the green kit, you love it even more. Absolutely. Don't you just? Don't oh, yeah. you yeah. just? Yeah. That green kit, ladies and gents, is for an appreciation for the NHS. So don't berate the green kit. Embrace it. Yeah. Go out yeah. and buy one. And I don't know if any of the yeah. money that, that sold from those green kits is going to go to the NHS charity. I really don't know. Yeah. But you know what? Mm -hmm. 
we're blues. We do it our way. Yeah. I'm going to tell my yeah. nine-year-old now what it's what, what what it was about because uh, she was shouting, "Come on, you bogies!" Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me, dear dear me. Uh, um, uh, make sure uh, you share you know the what? stream as well. Uh, if we can share, pick, uh, remind people to share the stream and. Uh, could yeah, thanks to all our sharers. Love it. Love well. it. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I just don't feel like doing our last 15 tonight. Mm, no, I can't think. No, no, it's. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll abandon it to next week. Abandon yeah, it to back, right? Auntie yeah. Linda says green kit, pink kit, red kit. It's all about the badge. Absolutely. The badge Linda. Is gone, yeah. yeah. And, uh, Again, I have to say what an absolutely sterling job she's done setting that fund up because it's it, it's 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 exceeded its targets already. So that's absolutely superb. Yeah. Um, what is it? Yeah. 5, 000, okay. Five thousand over now. <laughs> it's kind of, it's yeah, over well over five thousand now. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Still yeah. going. Going. That is yeah. brilliant. Mm. Just, yeah. it just well, do, we what think we'll, do we think we'll strengthen it in any other areas now before the window? Who, Paul? Sorry. I've learned, I've learned that it closes next Friday. I thought it was tonight. So um, right. Sorry, Paul. Yeah. Who? The what? Sorry. Yes. Do we think we'll sign any more players? I mean, you know, I'd like to see. I don't know. Uh, I mean, just look, we're Birmingham City. You never know we're Birmingham. Look. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's not going to be Birmingham. Expect the unexpected. These things happen. Who would have thought we'd have signed as many players as we just have done? No one knows, yeah. And, and who, have, who have, have we actually got rid of? Who, who's gone out the door? Yeah. None. No, nobody. Only, nobody. Only, only obviously. Uh, I think camp at the end of this last season obviously went, yeah, didn't yeah. they? And uh, Magoma went before the end of last season, didn't they? So there was yep, a few yep, went out yeah. during the last nine games, but no, since Karenka's actually come in, I don't think anyone's gone, have they? Not really. He's going to he's gonna have, to, he's gonna have to trim it, though, isn't he, at some point? Oh, Linda, £5,885. Oh, oh, brilliant. Brilliant. That's fantastic. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Um, oh my God. Charlie Lakin. Charlie Lakin has gone to Ross County on loan, hasn't he? Yes. yes. That yeah, yeah. 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 Hmm. And, yeah. I mean, of course, I think, I think lad, from, what, from, from what I've seen of him, he's got ability, hasn't he? Uh, Charlie Lakin. He mm. looks his first touch is good. He's good on the ball, but yeah, yeah. Let him, let him go. Let him go and get some practice. Get some match game on, under his belt and one thing or another. You know, bring yes. him back when you're ready. Yeah. He's, yeah. Our, he's our player after all. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Well, it's yeah, not like said on as well, isn't it? Days, but still, this show is brilliant. Yeah. It keeps us all going. Keep right on. And I tell you what, people <laughs> like you, Graham Brown, keep us going too, because yeah. we're all in this boat together, all of us, every yeah. single one of us, and it's driving us mad, mad, yeah. mad, mad, mad. Oh uh, uh, yeah, Michael said, Woods. Yeah, where's Harden gone? Yeah, absolutely. Wentworth, yeah. yeah. And Ray Autumn wants to know what razors do you use, Mister Sheen? Gillette, but not today. Oh, Gillette. <laughs> <laughs> Gillette. <laughs> 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 you, um, do, you, do you have to shave the old head, or is, it, or is that just now natural? You want to see? You want to see my cupboard? It's full of links and uh, conditioner and no, and, not links again. Blade razors. <laughs> links, <laughs> links. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's just wrong. Uh, Bicky well, saying, oh. uh, Bicky saying uh, that basically we need to bring a, a special striker in with uh, pace. Totally agree. That's what I was going yeah. to get round to. Yeah, I think that, 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 what, that's what I'd like to see. <laughs> Charlie Austin would have been ideal. I don't know if he's Charlie Austin. Austin. Well, as a lone striker. I think he would have yeah. been done right, you know. Mm. Looking at that squad, we're not that, we're not short now, are we? At the moment, no, we're not, we're not, not short. Not, no. Yeah, we still do. We still do Hogan. need that striker, that special striker. There, I think we've got yeah. Hogan. Hogan obviously can come in, can't he? But mm. I love Duke mm. to bits, and and he's been absolutely fantastic for us. But I, I do think that he needs somebody next to him if you're going to play him. Yeah, definitely. You know, yeah. Mm, definitely. I, I, I don't think this formation suits <laughs> his game at all. And does it? No. So yeah. you know, we, we need a striker who's going to run the channels like like Clayton Donaldson used to. Yeah. You know, uh, I think um, it's, making, it's making me appreciate what a good job he actually did for us. You know. Who played Stephen Gill, Stephen yeah. Gill's made an interesting comment here. Mm. Uh, it's, it's regarding the green kits. Maybe they can be an auction at the end of the season and give the money to the NHS. Mm. Or the yeah. NHS charities, yeah? yeah. So a sign yeah. shirt, you know, uh, would you get the whole squad to sign everyone or would you just get the individual player to sign it? Whole squad would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, whole squad, yeah. whole squad. Yeah. 44 yeah. signed shirts, yeah? yeah? Mm. Crikey. Oh, yeah. That raises a bit of a collector's item, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. yeah, 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 a bit unique. 
Right, okay. Uh, Carl Newton says McCree has been playing first team in Australia, so he's under 21, so I suspect is another option in the middle. We don't know anything. Don't know a lot about it, to be honest with you. But Ator Karanka must do. They've probably done their own work. Well, they must have done their own work. I just want to sign him. Mm. No, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I I I think every signing he's made so far that's in the team has improved us in every position. Yeah. <laughs> Graham, um, Graham Brown says once this side gels we will start scoring Lico to come in and, and he will make the difference mm-hmm. again I don't know a lot about Lico I don't know a great deal about him to be honest with you but eesh, you have to put your trust in these people don't you definitely. Mm, yeah, yeah definitely. Mm. that's it going, going back to um, talking about when we can go down the Blues and all the rest of it do you think it will be all season yeah. I think I don't, I don't think Chris going to all season I don't think for one minute any football fans will be again this year, this no, season. I don't. don't think so. I don't. I really know. don't think so. And sadly, you know, with furlough finishing in, in October, I can start seeing some of these clubs just winding up and shutting down. They're gonna, they're gonna go, yeah. Yeah. Sadly, yeah. yeah. There was a, there was a meeting, wasn't there, between the Premier League clubs about trying to help them out? I don't know what how that, what, what, what the outcome of that was, but I know there was well, a they, meeting. Oh, weren't yeah. They, yeah, weren't they also on about curtailing the season as well, the Premier League? Yeah, I read something yeah. about that, yeah. 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 But, um, yeah. I don't know. It's like you say, Nick, some of them are going to just go, aren't they? Mm. Some of the smaller clubs, you know. Yeah, so, I, I mean, you just can't survive with no money coming through the door, can you? Look, I work in the pub, so I kind of have yeah. a, an understanding of how it is and one thing and another. And people have changed habits. People just aren't coming out. People are coming out early, going home early. Um they're only staying out for one hour instead of three. Uh, it's, it's a big different world out there now. It's like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, mm-hmm. I, don't, I really don't know. Don't you I'm, reckon, though? Don't I'm, you reckon? Don't you reckon, Nick? That don't you think some people would just be out of the habit of going to the down the blues? They'd just be completely out of the habit. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. We, could, we could pretend yeah, if it goes yeah, on for yeah. much longer, we could lose a generation of fans. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Not, yeah. 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 To worry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Will it ever be the same uh, again? Bixing, hello, Bick, V-A-R, Bick. Uh, at the moment, I think we'll be a safe mid-table team, but if we got the firepower, we could challenge. That would be yeah, good. I agree. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Shabon's asking me, honest opinion, can I see Gardner going to Bournemouth? I hope not. Uh, although he's not in the eleven at the moment from the start, <coughs> I, do I, think think he, he I do think he gives us something when he comes on, if you need yeah, that drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I, wouldn't get, I, would, I wouldn't get rid of him at all. I hope he doesn't. No. No. Can I see it happening? Um, the only the only way I can see it happening is if he starts to get a little bit itchy feet because he wants to play more. Um, mm. There's going to be we're, we're coming in now to like three games in a week in a, in a short period of time, and I think he will get more game time in that period. Yeah. So um, cool. you can't. Yeah. Do you reckon? Can you see someone like Kifton Belt going? Possibly, yeah. And he's I been a great player. I can see him going somewhere like Sheffield Wednesday to link up with Monk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Millwall with Rabbit. Or Millwall with Rabbit, because yeah. Rabbit signed him, didn't they? Not that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I've seen uh, Linda like says all round to Mrs. Browns. <laughs> 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 and Bick says VAR gets me every time he knows. He remembers that one well, bless him. Oh, dear, that was a funny day. Never mind. <laughs> oh, it was, um, it was the, the week, I think, Chris, when um, I was supposed to have gone on holiday and uh, Ryanair... Right oh, on strike. Yes. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, me yeah, and Vic yeah. went up the top with the microphone and doing a bit of commentary. Yes. And the um, yeah. decision didn't quite go that way. So Vic <laughs> just stands up and says, VAR! <laughs> <laughs> a true hero he is, bless him. Uh, okay. Michael says, Gardner to say at Blues, in my opinion, and maybe Sky, maybe Sky. Uh, 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 I hate it when the... there's a new look Facebook coming out, you know? Mm. Yes, I know, I've got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've lost that comment now. Sky, okay. you forgot about the America channels and the channels right there. Right, okay. I hate Jindy's. Well, maybe Sky could do one or stop paying the Premiership so much money and spread it around a bit. Aaron Gellers, that would be such a uh, It's never going to happen, though, is it? It's no. never going to happen. But, never, never gonna happen. but what you have to understand, Aaron, what you have to understand mm-hmm. is the top of the tree at Sky TV is run by them over the road. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. There you yeah. go. Mm. That's true. Yeah. That's so true. Yeah, kind of not, blue, not blues-related, but it is at the same time because he was linked with us at one point when we had Harry Redknapp, but Jack Wilshere has just been released by West Ham. 
Has he really? What a, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. What a, what a fall from grace that is. He was a top, top player when he was on it. But yeah. He just can't stay fit for any period of time, can he? Because I would no. have him. I, I would have. I would go and fetch him myself now to come and play for us if he was fully fit and on form. But he, you, you, know, you don't reckon Marcello was actually in his car waiting to come and pick him up? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon yeah. he was at Wast Hills with him in the passenger seat. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he was in his in his in his day. I mean, he was he was a great player, wasn't he? I say in his day, he's yeah. probably still only about 27, 28, isn't it? Yeah. But I mean, yeah. he, played, he played against us in the League Cup final, didn't he? he did yeah. Um, as a kid, I think he was about 19 then. Um, right, okay, think about this then. Do you think he would fit into the Blue squad? You know, like we are a hard working, grafting team, right? Solid in, in defence, quick on the break. Yeah. That's what we kind of like really going into right now. Yeah. Do you think he would fit in, really? We always need that flair creative player. And going back to that, that team that obviously Marcello's picked there, you've got all your grafters around Brian Hughes, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and Brian uses the player to create the chances. And then you've got the guys on the flanks, obviously, creating the chances as well. But obviously, you've got your Sanchez and you've got your Bella and, and, and Leco to come back. It will come in as well. But I just think that Jack Wilshire in the middle of the park, he picks a pass and he's a creative player, isn't he? He's a great player going forward. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's just whether or not we could, if, if, if obviously, if it did happen, I can't see it happening, but if, if it ever did, I do think that that would. It's only going to make us better, isn't it, in the squad if we can keep him fit for any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good in the dressing room, right, Mike? Uh, Mark, sorry. Uh, ask yeah. you a question. H or Karanka, happy or not so far? I'm well happy with him. Very yeah. happy with him. Yeah, definitely. We're like I say, I keep saying it, but we're a different world away from from last season already. Um, like I say, give him time. He might take a couple of seasons. You know, not being not being negative, but you know, it's not going to be a quick fix. But yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> you know. Pete Taylor, no, we Pete, don't want Pete Taylor, Pete Taylor, Paul, Pete Taylor says we definitely don't want Wilshire. The hospitals in Birmingham are under enough strain as it is. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, and Linda wants to know if anybody anybody thinks we'll get six goals in one game this year. Nah. Oh. No chance. Yes. I was hoping for it Saturday, to be honest with you. Yeah, Sunday. <laughs> You never know, though. As the lads start to get to know each other more and more as time goes on and they're training more, it's still early days, isn't it? You know, they, they haven't been together that long and it's a work in progress. Um, yeah. So as time goes on, you never know what we're going to be seeing in a couple of months' time. Yeah. yeah. yeah and that's just Mr Brown. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. Uh, Chris, can you keep your hands where we can see them? God knows what you're up to. read that. <laughs> <laughs> that's quality, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and nobody noticed me going for a week. <clears throat> if we could get Scott Hogan firing like he was before lockdown. He was mm. on fire as well, wasn't he? He's on fire. Oh, yeah. If we could yeah. get that Scott Hogan back, I mean, imagine. Mm. Yeah. yeah. We did talk about this, 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 this last week, though, didn't we? You know, uh, people can go off the ball once you've bought them. Yeah. This is the worry. Yeah. This is the worry. And what about... So, what, 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 now tonight, because like, we're still unbeaten in the league, right? There's not, there's not many that you know, that do that for a long time, long period mm-hmm. of time. So, if we don't think positive, then how do we expect the team to act positive? No, no, no. It's, it, the, the, there's a lot more positive, certainly, now than, than, than there is. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Yeah. And positivity we've, we've, we've takes positivity, Paul. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've taken huge strides since those last nine games of last season, and I keep going back to them, but it's the reality. It's only a few months ago, and they've taken huge strides in that short period of time. Um, I just want to ask one so I think Harley Dean's looking a good player again. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. How he latched onto it, he just lost that lad, right, who was next to him. Just got about six or seven or eight inches in front of him and boom, straight in the back of the net, man. Great Get tender it, that was. Yeah. Brilliant tender. Yeah. What are our thoughts on John Sorrell, the, the John Sorrell that we've had back so far? Um, I mean, I, he's looking good, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think, I think think he perhaps, perhaps needs to do a little bit more on his fitness. Fitness. Yeah. 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 Um... But no complaints. You know what I mean? No complaints. So, and he, he's a zippy little player. Yeah. <clears throat> and, and thankfully, that horrible scrote who grabbed him around the neck the other day has been banned. Yeah. Yeah? Um, yeah. That, that, that could have been life-changing. It was stupid. It was stupid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah well, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm really impressed with uh, Ivan Sanchez as well. I think he's quality. So yeah, yeah, he's yeah, good band-aid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. don't know yeah, what yeah, the change yeah. has been in him. He's like, he's proper on it, and he? he's like, he's like a little terrier, a like, yeah. into everything, scrapping. Yeah. Um, You're talking Sunich there, Nick. It's Ivan Sunich. 
He's a beast this season, isn't he? He's been brilliant. Oh, he's, yeah. He's, he's, yeah. Yeah. Ivan Such again. Sanchez, that cross. I mean, I, I, Ivan, Ivan was... Uh, did he make Man of the Match the weekend or not? Or was it Bela? Uh, I think Ooh. Man of the Match. I'm not sure. I think it was Sanchez, wasn't it? I think it was Sanchez. I'm sure it was. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but the, his corner, his set pieces are excellent. I don't know for, for Dean's header, his corner was great again. Yeah. <clears throat> you, you All right, I've got a legal, a legal question for the team now, right? This is a legal question, right? With this agreement that if we score six goals, Crystal's are showing the nude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If we score three and get three own goals from Dave Twine, does that count as a 6 <laughs> 0? Mm-hmm. I want to vote. I want to vote on it. I want to vote on it. Paul. Uh, Come on, it's 6-0. They're, te- they're technically <laughs> six goals scored by Birmingham City players, aren't they? No. But... It's 6-0. Paul, you said that like you didn't want to see me nude or something. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, yeah, Chris, I reckon it definitely can. Chris is offended. <laughs> I am. I am offended. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you got the blues. Gra- make sure you got the blues ground behind you because it won't look so bad then. <laughs> right, Paul, I've, no. I've already got the background no. planned. It'll look like you're streaking. It'll look like you're being a streaker six. instead. <laughs> Do own goals count as the six? Paul, vote now. What's that? Do own goals count as part of the six? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mark. I'm going to start. Oh, yeah, of course it does. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know what? When you watch Britain's Got Talent, you have an eye and they thought, this is the most difficult decision I've ever had to make in my life. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Have it. <laughs> can, I just, can I just clarify, though, Nick? Is it league, is it is league and cup games, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it? I'd, I'd have enough. even gone for penalties. I would have gone for penalties myself because that's a goal scored in a game, isn't it? God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Larry, it actually happens. Uh, oh, I can imagine. Well, don't want to imagine. Yeah, yeah, Jackie yeah. Blossom Burton. Uh, Bart says I right? personally don't rate Sunich. Sorry, Sunich has been absolutely superb. He's been brilliant. Opinion. Yeah. People have yeah. P- people have different views, don't they, on uh, different players? Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. You know. yeah. Well, where's the time gone? Five minutes to go. Uh, don't forget mm-hmm. next week. Mm-hmm. Next week we've got author John Berry joining us from seven thirty mm-hmm. next. When's Monday. when's 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 the din? When's the <laughs> photographer? Yeah. Which photographer? For what? Roy. Huh? Oh, oh, Roy. Roy. It's me and uh, he's, in, yeah. he's, a, he's a couple of more weeks yet. Um, I can't wait for that one. Do you know that man? Right, I spoke to him at the kit launch when Boyle Sports first started sponsoring Birmingham City Football Club before they started sponsoring the Talk and Talk Show. Mm-hmm. I was sitting there chatting with him, and even at that time, right, this is two years ago. He had taken over three million photographs mm. at St Andrews. Wow. Three million. Three million. Three million Are photographs, sure? Chris. He's been there since eighteen seventy-five. <laughs> <laughs> since just before Linda was born. <laughs> has he got his camera? Has he got his camera on like speed dial? Do you know what I mean? Like a... yeah. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> He said I sat and worked it out this one night. The amount of matches and, and training grounds and. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Oh, he does all a bit, the functions. <clears throat> yeah, he does a fabulous job. I mean, I took my little girl to... Um, there was a little thing going on. I'd only popped into the club shop with my little girl, and there was something going on in the ground, and yeah. we just popped <clears> out <throat> of the ground, and he let us go on and like let her go on the pitch and have a photo with Bo Brummie, and uh, that was... Oh, you that's know, too brilliant. Little, a little oh, photo, that's, that's, photo that's, with him. That's, that's, no, man, that's my proper, fault. Proper that's bloke. He's a legend. He's yeah. a proper legend. Roy's, yeah. yeah. Been was here for years. I can't wait to chat to him. A nice man, he's really humble, proper down to earth. Mm. And yeah, we said like three million photographs. He's taken three wow. million photographs of St Andrews and, and players and functions and this, that, and the other. That is mm. unbelievable. It's going to be a good one, that one. Yeah, mm. yeah. All right, okay, Stephen Gill. John Terrell looks good. Hopefully, when he finds his fitness, he'll be a good player for us. I think so too. And it is going to take him a little while to just sharpen that little edge up. And uh, yeah. Um, got, uh, Graham Brown goes on Brownie. God help us! <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I don't know about you. Uh, Big Singh, Astigas reads had a good start to the season. Enforcer that protects the back four, full of energy and has played well. His automatic starter in the midfield, given the way we play. You know what, uh, Marcello? 
Let's talk about March April. One minute, because we've got three minutes to go. What a humble bloke. Again, what an absolutely yeah. lovely, lovely man. Said Fantastic. Said he, 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 were yeah, he was brilliant. He was underrated, I thought. Uh, you know what? I'm surprised. I'm underrated. surprised the ladies weren't. He was, he was, he's a handsome bloke. Yeah, you know, I'm surprised old Linda yeah. weren't in there. Yeah, a mixed horse. Horse. He like you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, and as we've just written, let's not forget, loads of great guests to come. And the bookings are now into December already. Yeah, halfway through wow. December. It's been an amazing year. It has so, been an amazing year. Just going back to Marcelo, that was so true what he said, wasn't it, that Brian Hughes was more Brazilian than him? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Brian what, his style of play? Yeah. 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 yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Brian Hughes was just outstanding. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant, yeah. And that made Man, my tonight. He, sorry. Right, OK, ladies and gents, this has been the Tilton Talk Show. Oh, and uh, that's what Mondays are made for. Sponsored by Boyle Sports, of course, our friends at Garrison Coffee Company, SAS Autos and Ballsy Labour Club in conjunction with the Birmingham Homeless Support Team. Remind me, gentlemen, in the week to please set up something uh, for the lads and, and the girls that, you know, go out on these missions every Tuesday. Uh, the bad weather's come in, the dark nights are coming, it's drawing in. Let's do something. Yeah, let's do something now. Should we, Nick, sorry, should we yeah. round off with Jason Plant's yeah, that Jason, Jason comment? Yeah, just written, thank yeah. you for having the show in our son Tommy's memory. We wish... Yeah, I just lost it. Have you still got it up, Paul? I've got it ready for yeah, you. Yeah, we wish, it, we wish it wasn't as it would... We wish it wasn't as it would mean he was still here from us yeah. all. Yeah. Uh, mm. Jason, Alison, George, Harry and Ben, thank you for everyone. And we, we are one. Absolutely, mate. God bless. You know what? Yeah. God bless them all, yeah. Oh, Jason, I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, no, this, that was difficult to do earlier. And if any of you want to try it at any time, you're very welcome. Because yeah. there he is, the little man. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, bless him. He's so lovely. And uh, I've got four children of my own. As you all probably know, my other half's son was killed in Afghanistan. So we have a kind of an understanding of losing a child. Uh, even though he wasn't my child, I have that understanding, but not one as young as that. Nowhere near, nowhere near. Tommy Plant, rest in peace, my good friend. Keep right on. And I'll tell you what, you go up there and sing, keep right on to the end of the road. You're a true, true, true little legend. God bless you. Whew. From myself, good night. From Paul Hipkiss. Good night, all. And from Mr. Robe. Good night, everybody. Please stay safe. From the legend that is Mrs. Brown. Good night, all. And yeah. you know what, Marcello, thank you so much. Great man. Yeah. Nice, nice conversation. Very, very, very open, honest, and, you know, had a good laugh and a good chat. And we'll leave you now. Tommy Plant. Good night. God bless. <laughs>